Good morning, guys. I'm very excited for today's video because I'm going to show you our video game collection. I'm very excited to get into this because my number two passions is singing and video game collecting. So this video is going to be so much fun. All right, so let's get started. Don't worry, I'm not going to talk about every single one of our games. I'm only going to talk about the ones that I love the most. So the ones that I don't really care about, I'll just show you what they are. Don't hate on me, okay? But I wasn't a fan of Kirby. But I just think she is so cute. So we have Kirby, Iggy's Wrecking Balls. This game was actually kind of fun, but it was just really weird. Of course, we got some Pac-Man games. I feel like I'm gonna get hate for not liking this game too, but Paper Mario is on this list. I did like this game on the Wii, but I'm not a fan of it on the 64. Going Quackers. Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut. This game was weird. Rayman 2, The Great Escape. Funny story about this game, I've actually, I had never heard of this game. I just got it because my husband's name is Raymond, so Rayman was just really funny. And this game, I'm sorry if you guys are a fan, but this game is, this game is crap to me. Pokemon Snap. Tom and Jerry, Fists of Fury. Forsaken 64. Now, for those of you who have not played this game, this game made me dizzy. Definitely, like, in that game in particular, the really bad graphics really affected me, like, really made me not want to play it. Pokemon Stadium 2. Now, the only reason that this is on the list of games that I'm not really a fan of is because I haven't played it yet. Mario Party 3. This game was just absolute crap to me. I just, they just changed way too much from the from Mario Party 1 and 2, and I, I wasn't a fan of it. Beetle Adventure Racing. I'm not really into racing games. I just got it, you know, because collecting is fun. You guys are going to be mad about this one, too. Okay. Donkey Kong 64. So I think the reason I wasn't a fan of this game is I actually had never played this when I was a kid. All I had was Mario Party 1, 2, and 3. So because it's similar to Mario Party, I just felt like it was kind of a knockoff to Mario. So... Just wasn't really a fan. Rampage World Tour and Cruisin' USA. Now we get to my absolute favorite 64 games and I am actually gonna start with like my number one absolute favorite, which I'm sure you can guess what it is by looking at my Yoshi wall. <laughs> Yoshi Story is the absolute best Nintendo 64 game ever made. Come at me, I will fight you if you disagree, this game is the best. My second favorite is the original Mario Party. I feel like no Mario Party is ever going to come close to this one when it comes to the detail that they did on the world. Like yes, the graphics of course are not going to be as good as like the Nintendo Switch Mario Party, but I feel like they got lazy when it came to the maps that you play on and it really, really upsets me. And then Mario Party 2. Uh, this one is a lot of fun. I think the maps on this one were great too. After Mario Party and Mario Party 2, I think that's when they got lazy and they just kind of stopped being as creative and it was just really disappointing because these are my favorite games. And then of course, Pokemon Stadium. I used to stay up till midnight playing the little mini games on this. The first Pokemon game I've ever played and I love it. I've never heard anybody talk about this game, but I think this game needs to be talked about more because it's so much fun. Quest 64. I had an absolute blast playing this, but I also grew up with this game, so maybe that's why I like it so much. Nightmare Creatures, that game is so much fun. And it's creepy. Dark Rift, again, I don't usually like fighting games, but I grew up with this game, so this game is amazing to me. It took me a long time to figure out the combos to learn how to actually fight really good. But once I figured it out, this game is so much fun. And I can't forget this one. Super Mario 64. This game is a blast. And then, of course, we've got Mario Kart 64, which is fun. I actually, of course, I actually like Mario Kart better on the Wii. It's easier to control, but playing it on the 64 is very nostalgic. That's the end of my Nintendo 64 game collection, my absolute favorite game collection. And that's only because when I was growing up, the Nintendo 64 is all I had. That was the only system I had until the end of my teenage years. My grandma got me a PlayStation 2. So the only games I had ever played before I became an adult were the 64 and the PS2. So obviously those are always going to hold a higher place in my heart than other game systems. So considering what I said about the Nintendo 64 and the PS2 being my favorite systems, I'm sure you can guess which games I'm showing you next. PS2! 
we've got Sonic, Treasure Planet, Ratchet and Clank, Size Matters, Naruto Ultimate Ninja 2. We got this from a thrift store and they didn't have the actual case for it. Mortal Kombat Armageddon, Blade 2, X-Men Legends 2, Tom and Jerry, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. I have not played this yet, but I would like to. So we got a huge bundle of these PS2 games from eBay, or not eBay, from a Marketplace, and they were all scratched. So there's about 15 PS2 games that we cannot play because of how badly scratched they are, but I don't want to throw them away. We're going to get a disc cleaner and hopefully we'll be able to fix them. Finding Nemo, ATV3, Off-Road Fury, Virtua Fighter 4, Street Fighter, Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. Okay, I actually picked this game and I do plan on playing it one day because I'm very curious what it looks like. It just looks so goofy and so much fun. Goosebumps Horrorland. I have not tried it yet, but I do plan to. Deer Hunt. The hunting games were literally just to collect because even though it's just a game, I love animals and it makes me feel bad. Dangerous Hunt 2. This is another one I bought just because it looks goofy and it looks like it would be something to make us laugh, but Egg Mania. Like look at, look at what they look like. They're so cute. 007. GoldenEye Rogue Agent. Here's another hunting game. Alaskan Adventures. I, I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher the name of this, so I'm really sorry. Um, Sokum, Sokum Two, Pixar Cars. So remember, I told you guys my other passion is singing. I got so many singing games; it's not even funny. Disney Sing It. This game is better on the Wii um, because it's better at picking up if you're on the right pitch than the PS2 is, considering it's more up to date. Sing Star Pop Edition. Sing Star 80s, Sing Star Rockstar, and Sing Star Country, Mortal Kombat Deception, Barnyard, Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. This game pisses me off. I can't even tell you because it doesn't go where you want it to go. Dragon Ball Z, Scooby Doo, Nicktoons Unite. This was actually the very first PS2 game I ever got. And I remember at the time I thought it was so cool, but now I'm just, uh, it's just for collectors now. Pirates of the Caribbean. I've actually never seen the movie or played the game, but Johnny Depp in this movie is such a babe. SpongeBob SquarePants, Nicktoons, Globs of Goon. SmackDown vs. Raw. Blood Drain. I haven't played this yet, but this actually looks really cool. Pirates of the Caribbean again. Kingdom Hearts, Crash, Dark Angel, Ice Age 2 The Meltdown, MX Unleashed, Batman Begins, and there's more. So my husband just got me to watch Naruto with him, and I actually did like the show because I, I had never seen anime really before him, so he was trying to get me into anime. So we got Naruto for the PS2, and they're actually a lot of fun. The Naruto, what's it say? Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles 2. And I've never played this, but I loved this. I loved the show as a kid, so I'm excited to try this one day. This is one of the games that are so scratched, it doesn't work. I've never played these games either, but the trailer looks so cool. So this is Devil Made Me Cry 2 and Devil Made Me Cry 3. If you haven't seen the trailer or played these, I recommend watching the trailer because it looks really cool. And I cannot, obviously, Grand Theft Auto San Andre Andreas, Andres? however you say it. This game is awesome. I actually don't play the game. I just like to steal cars and have the cops, you know, chase me and stuff because it's fun. That's really all I do on this game. Avatar The Last Airbender. This game isn't isn't as fun as I thought it would be, but it's Avatar, guys. So obviously I had to get the second one as well, which I haven't played at all because the first one wasn't very fun, but I might give it a try because again, it's Avatar. I've never played this one because this is one of the games that are super scratched, but it looks awesome and I wanna play it so bad. And this is another one I haven't played yet, but it looks amazing. 
I hope you can be the dinosaur though because I like games and movies where animals eat people. It's just for some reason, for some reason it's very amusing to me and I love it. Thrillville Off the Rails was one of the only games I had on the PS2 and so I love this game and I still play it today. The Simpsons Hit and Run, this game is just really fun. I love that you literally just run things over. It's great. My number one favorite PS2 game in the whole world. Taz Wanted. I don't care what anybody says, this game is so much fun. And I recommend, if you haven't played it, that you give it a try before you start hating because yes, he's a Looney Tune, but he is so much fun. And I am playing this game actually right now. So it's a great game. Go get this one. And that is it for the PS2 collection. So I know I said we were done with the PS2 games. I lied. I completely forgot that we had some that didn't have cases. Ghost Recon, God of War, Ace Combatant, don't know if I said that right, X-Men Legends, of course everyone knows Tetris, they're scratched and don't work, so a guy that worked at a thrift store just gave it to us for free and they're, we thought, hey, maybe if we can get the disc cleaner to clean those up, they'll be worth something later, or maybe they'll be fun to play, who knows, but we have them now. Now that is it for PS2 games. Yay! <laughs> okay, now we're moving on. So I since I did PS2 games, I guess I'll kind of go backwards. I'm gonna do PS1 and then I'm gonna do PS3. We've got Spyro, which is actually my favorite. So I actually, like I said, I never had the PS1 growing up. I actually did play this game whenever we got it and I love this game. This is awesome. I can't really say any more about it because I've only played it for a few minutes, but it's great. <laughs> Need for Speed. I actually do like this game, even though I said I'm not really a fan of racing games. Um, this one's fun. It's not very much. It's not very fun on the older game systems though, because it's really, really, really hard to control the car. Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man: Maze Madness. I'm actually really upset. This game looks awesome. They made a Miss Pac-Man. I didn't know there was a female version of Pac-Man. Like what? And it's so scratched. I can't play it, and I'm super sad about it. That's the end of our PS1 games. Don't we have so many? Moving on to PS3. I'm probably going to go really fast through this because we don't have a PS3 game system, so I don't know any of these games. So I'll probably just read them off and move on with them. Dead Space, the limited edition. Ooh. We've got Diablo. Oops, upside down. Diablo. All right, we've got Dark Void. Layer. Borderlands 2. Motorstorm, Infamous 2, Starhawk, and this is a combo, so this is Borderland 2 and Dishonored, and this is also a combo, so then we have Skyrim and Bioshock Infinite, and then we have Dishonored by itself, another Grand Theft Auto game, which if we had a PS3, I would definitely play this, The Reckoning, Shadow of Mordor. Ruse, The Art of Deception. We got Gran Turismo. And in this game, again, I've never played it because we don't have a PS3, but I want to play it so freaking bad. South Park, The Stick of Truth. I want to play it so bad. It looks so silly and goofy and just, like, it would just make me laugh. I want to play it. That's it for PS1, and that's it for PS3, and that is it for PlayStation in general. We don't have a PS4 or PS5. Okay. So now I get to do Super Nintendo, which just made me realize that I lied. Not intentionally, I just forgot. So I actually did play Super Nintendo as a kid. I didn't own it myself though. My mom got remarried and the guy she was married to happened to have a Super Nintendo system with some games and I used to play it with my older brother. But the reason I didn't remember is because um, my older brother, like once he kind of got to the age where it wasn't cool to hang out with his younger sister, it wasn't really fun to play the Super Nintendo by myself. And then I discovered The Sims. So, and I'm still obsessed with Sims, but this is about the sin. I'm gonna do the games that um, are complete shit first. Jurassic Park. I got it because like I said in the other video, I love games where animals eat people. But obviously in this game, I don't know if you've played it, you shoot the dinosaurs. You can't be the dinosaur. And because it's such an old fashioned game, it's really, really hard to actually shoot the dinosaurs. Like the controls are really hard. So I don't even need to say that one. There's another Jurassic Park. This is one, the one I, the other one I showed you was number two. They're both shit. 
excuse my language, but great for collecting. That's really all that was shit, just those two, because like I said, I don't have that many games. And then this one is Rex. I think it's a child Super Nintendo game, but it looks really cute. I haven't played it yet, but I do want to try it. And we got Pitfall. I haven't played this one yet either. I watched the trailer though, and this one looks kind of cool. Looks like an adventure game. Super Mario All-Stars and Super Mario World. So this is two Super Nintendo games in one. Um, I haven't played them yet, but I mean, it's Mario. So I mean, obviously it's gonna be a really good game. Super Mario World, and if Yoshi is on the cover, guys, this game is gonna be a good game. But I actually have played this game. This game is really fun. I just wanted to mention Yoshi's on it, because I'm a nerd. Roadrunners, Death Valley. Um, if you haven't noticed, I really love the Looney Tunes. I still have not grown out of that childhood phase. Looney Tunes are awesome. Got Yoshi's Island. I made sure that this was one of the first games that I bought. And then surprisingly, the last one I'm gonna show you is actually my favorite, and yes, it beat Yoshi's Island. <gasps> I know, shocker even for me. It's called um, the Zombies Ate My Neighbor. I don't know if you all have played this, but if you haven't, I recommend going to get this one. This one is really fun. I will say it is kind of hard to play because of the controls, and I might be saying that because this isn't a system that I grew up with, so I'm not used to the controls like I am with like the 64. And so I have a hard time. I can't get past like level three and there's like hundreds of levels and I can't get past level three. It's pretty sad, but it's a lot of fun. And I still, I'll play levels one through three for hours. I don't care. It's an awesome game. In the game, your job is to save all the pedestrians and dogs and stuff that you see and you have to save them before the zombies eat them. That's literally what you do in the game, but it is so much freaking fun. But yeah, you don't kill zombies, they kill you. So now we're going to move on to Sega. So I have a hard time um, telling... If it's a Sega Genesis like one or two or three, I have no idea because they all look the same, but obviously like a lot of the consoles uh, for those, they're going to be bigger cartridge cart cartridges or smaller ones. So without me actually trying to see if it fits in the Sega Genesis console, I'm not sure if it's one, two or three. So I'm just going to call them Sega games in general. Altered Beast. I've never played this. Home Alone. Golden Axe, Monopoly, Lion King, Clue, which you can't really tell unless I like turn it, Cosmic Spacehead, this is Garfield Caught in the Act, I'm not sure how well you can see that through my phone camera, of course we've got Sonic 2 and the Hedgehog, my bad, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And this is still one of my favorite cartoons because it gives me so much nostalgia. We've got Ren and Stimpy, Stimpy's Invention. We've got Tasmania. This isn't as fun as Taz Wanted on PS2, but this game is still fun. We've got Mega Man 7. I actually got tricked. So uh, Mega Man 7 is supposed to be a really rare um, Sega or Super... Oh, this is actually Super Nintendo. My bad. This is in the wrong category. But this is supposed to be a super rare Super Nintendo game. And I thought it was the original one, but it's not. This is just a remade version, um, but it's fine. It'll still work as a collector's item. We got Lotus 2. We got Revolution. Mickey Mania. Echo Jr. We got Primal Rage. We got The Lost Vikings. We have Tiny Toons, uh, Buster's Hidden Treasure. I haven't played this one yet, but you guessed it because it's like Looney Tunes. I'm definitely planning on playing it, just haven't got to it yet. Fantastic Dizzy. We've got Bonkers. Oh, another Lion King. But this one actually has like the picture for the case. We've got James Pond 2. Bubsy. Did I say that right? Yeah. Bubsy. Aladdin, which is one of my favorite Disney movies. Desert Strike. Bonanza Brothers. I haven't played this game, but I've seen the trailer, and this looks like a really fun and silly game. Road Rash 2, Beauty and the Beast. And then I have a lot that don't have cases. So we have The Page Master, Earthworm Gem 2, another Sonic one. We've got the Mighty Power Rangers. The last one is, of course, Pac-Man 2. And that is all for Super Nintendo and Sega.
We only have one 3DS game and one Sega Dreamcast game because we don't actually have a 3DS or a Sega Dreamcast system. So I'll go ahead and do those. For the 3DS, we have Mega Man, Mega Man Legacy Collection. And then for Sega Dreamcast, we have Crazy Taxi. This was my favorite game for Sega Dreamcast. Whenever my mom was married to the guy that had the Super Nintendo, oh my gosh, I was obsessed with this game. He had the giant steering wheel and everything. One day we will have it too. So now I'm going to do GameCube. I think we only have 10 games of GameCube, so we don't have too many. GameCube games are expensive. I don't know if you guys have been on the lookout for them, but they're really expensive. Even games that are not popular. Final Fantasy. Weird, but in a cool way. Super Mario Sunshine, which I have also never played because the person who sold it to us didn't tell us that it was so scratched you can't play it. We got Dragon Ball Z, Budokai, I think we have that the same game for PS2. SpongeBob SquarePants, Revenge of the Flying Duchess. <laughs> Looney Tunes back in action. Uh, Cars again. We have Need for Speed Underground. My brother was obsessed with these games. Tarzan Untamed. Need for Speed. Mario Party 7. I want all of the Mario Party games for GameCube, but they're about $100 a piece. So we're waiting a little bit. And then we got this one. So we have Pokemon XD. This game is actually, to me, is not fun at all. So you know how in the original Pokemon, you go through the grass, you can fight Pokemon, you can catch them, but you cannot catch Pokemon that uh, belong to another trainer when you're battling them. Well, Pokemon XD is the opposite of that. The only way to get Pokemon on this game is to steal them from another trainer in battle, and there is no grass. So to me, this game was 100% boring, so it's for us, it's just a collector's game. And then we've got the Game Boy Player, which allows us to play Game Boy games on the GameCube. But because of that, I'm gonna show you our Game Boy games. Pokemon Gold version, Pokemon Emerald version, Pokemon Ruby version. Now it's time to see our Wii and Wii U game collection. And let me tell you, this is the biggest game collection we have. So bear with me. I want to say we have about 50 or 60 of these games all together. Like, whew. So here we go. So because we have so many, um, usually I would show you the ones I don't like first and then show you my favorites. But I don't want to sort through all of them. So if I... If I pick one up that I like, I'll talk about it. If it's one I don't like, I'll probably just show you and move on. Knight's Journey of Dreams. Now the graphics on this game are absolutely amazing, but me and my husband both had a really hard time controlling her. It was really hard for us to get her to fly where we wanted her to fly, so we don't play this one anymore. Looney Tunes. This game actually wasn't very fun. Cold Stone Creamery, scoop it up. Ice cream. NFL 10, Major League Baseball, Chicken Shot, I love this game. Whenever you shoot them, the chicken's reactions are so funny and the chickens are very goofy in this game. Rayman, Raving Rabbits. Again, this is one of those games I got because, I mean, Rayman, Raymen, aha, it was meant, meant for us. Toy Story Mania, America's Next Top Model. This game, I literally got this game because I knew it was gonna be dumb but listen let me tell you it is a great game if you want to lose weight because you have to actually do the exercises that the model has to do in this game I beat this game in one day and whew, let me tell you my my legs were so sore after all the lunges I did this game is great if you want to work out but other than that it's not very fun Star Wars the complete saga so the umbrella chronicles this game is complete shit on the Wii I think this game is better on Xbox but on the Wii it's not very fun Sims 3, yeah, don't ever, in my opinion, don't ever get The Sims unless you're playing it on computer. It's not fun on anything but PC. We Fit Plus, SpongeBob, Rob, SpongeBob Truth or Square, Ultimate I Spy. I love I Spy games, but one of the things I don't like about the Wii is sometimes, even though I have the sensor bar it, where it needs to be, it won't re it won't read the Wii remote, and so sometimes I get very frustrated with certain games. And this was one of them. Carnival Games. Twilight Seen It. Not gonna lie. I love this game. Family Game Night. Major League Baseball. Call of Duty World War IV. This game is also better on Xbox. Blazing Angels. 
We Fit. If you like to be body shamed, get this game. Zumba Fitness. We Sports. Babysitting Mama. I haven't played this yet because apparently you need you need the creepy doll in order to play it, and the doll creeps me out. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Brawl or Brawl? Brawl. Mario Party 8. Mario Party 8 is probably the only Mario Party game that I like that's not on the Nintendo 64. Um, they have a Monopoly type version on this and it is so fun. Like they, the maps on this one finally got good. They did a really good job on the maps, but this was the last one that I have played where they actually did a good job on the maps and the worlds. Super Paper Mario, like I said, this one is really fun on the Wii. I didn't like it on the 64, but it is so much fun on the Wii. We play. I love this game. I know it's probably meant for kids, but I just find this game relaxing. My favorite game is probably uh, the one where you have to find the Miis. I don't know what it's called, but that's my favorite one. Mario Party 9. This one was okay, but we don't play it. Epic Mickey. This game is a lot of fun. Wipe out the game. Any game that's wipe out. I love these games. I like games that make me laugh, and this game is definitely one of them. SpongeBob's Boating Bash. I actually really enjoy this game. Hot Wheels Beat That. I haven't played this one. Cars Mater Nation. Mater National, I'm sorry. Shrek's Carnival Games. Raymond Raving Rabbids again. Wii Sports Resorts. I suck at this one. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so terrible at this one, especially archery. Indiana Jones 2. Ghost Squad. My Fitness Coach, another Major League Baseball, Backyard Football, <laughs> Major League Baseball, oh gosh, Backyard Baseball. If you haven't noticed, all the sports games are just for collectors, we don't play them. Project Runway, so I actually haven't played this one yet, but if it's as funny as America's Next Top Model, I definitely plan on giving this one a try. Super Mario Galaxy. I really enjoy this game actually, and uh, the funny thing is, I've never played this before until I want to say 2021, and it's one of my favorite Mario games. I really like it. On the Wii. On the Wii. Let me rephrase that. All right, and I told you guys I like to sing, so here we go. More singing games. Sing it, pop hits, and again for the Wii, singing games are really great on the Wii. They really help by telling you if you're on pitch or not. They do so much better than obviously the PS2. American Idol Encore 2. You wanna hear Simon talk shit about your singing? This is for you. <laughs> High School Musical Sing It. I actually haven't done this one yet, but I'm sure it's fun. Disney Sing It Party Hits. And then, of course, I had to get Disney Sing It Family Edition. I was actually a little disappointed in this one. Um, the Disney Sing It Family Hits, it doesn't really have good Disney songs, in my opinion. I had A Whole New World and Be Our Guest but it didn't have Tangled on it. You know, there was no songs from Tangled. It only had one song from Mulan. Um, I love every single song in Mulan, so it was really disappointing. They only had Reflection from Mulan. I just want them to make another one and add all the Disney songs, like including the new ones. Like let's add, let's, let's make another one and add Frozen and Encanto. Let's do it, please and thank you. Make it for the Switch. Make it happen, somebody make it happen. Wipeout 2, like I said, I like all the Wipeout games because they make me laugh. I will say though, which is very odd, Wipeout 2, graphics wise, is a lot worse than the first Wipeout, which is weird considering this is the newer one. Truth or lies, someone will get caught. This game makes me mad, guys, because even if I'm telling the truth, it'll mark it as a lie. It literally gets me so hyped up. It's, ugh. But it's fun. It's definitely a fun game to play with your friend or significant other. Mario and Sonic Winter Olympic Games. Pictionary. I don't know if this is fun. I just know that there is a Switch game that is similar to Pictionary and I love it. So I was hoping that this would be similar to it. But apparently you need a U-Draw game tablet to do it and we don't have that. So I haven't gotten a chance to try this yet. That was just the Wii. So now let's get to Wii U. Pokemon Tournament. This game is actually awesome. I really like the graphics in it. I think they did a really good job and it looks cool. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. I actually have not played this yet, but I definitely do want to give it a try. NES Remix Pack, Assassin's Creed 3, 
Another game that's better on Xbox, Super Mario Maker. I personally did not like this game. It frustrates me. I like actually playing it, I guess. I guess I don't really care much for actually making my own world. We got this game for free. Uh, we bought the Wii U system, and they didn't know that this game was in there. So we got it for free, so at least that's nice, because I think this game is like $50, so we'll take it. And we did, so. Mario Party 10. The downfall of Mario Party. So what I like about Mario Party is that it's like a board game. On this one though, um, every single character sits in a car and you move at the same time. I hate it. Like, I actually love that it's kind of like Candyland and, you know, other board games where you're trying to get to the finish line before everybody else, but there's a bunch of traps and stuff that you gotta beat along the way. But for this one, if you're all traveling together, it just, I don't know, it just made it so boring to me. Sonic Boom, Rise of the Lair. Platoon. Epic Mickey, The Power of Two. I prefer this one because the first one is not two player, but this one I can play with my husband, so this one is definitely um, more preferred. And then we have Jurassic World, Lego, Mario Kart 8, Snoopy's Grand Adventure, which I have not played yet. I did buy a Snoopy shirt, so he's matching. <laughs> the Voice I Wanted. Another singing game, of course. This one is one of my favorites. This one and the American Idol ones are my favorite singing games for the week. And then obviously, the best Wii U game there is, Yoshi's Woolly World. It is literally so similar to Yoshi's Story on the 64, which is why I love it. The only difference is they're made of yarn. But all right, that is it for the Wii. So the only other ones we have, so bear with us, all we have left for our game collection are Xbox games and Nintendo Switch games. So we're almost done. Okay, I'm gonna do the Xbox games first. They're not gonna take long, we don't have many. Um, especially since you can just buy them like through the Xbox where you, they can download immediately and you don't need the actual games with cases anymore. I personally like for collector's purposes, I prefer getting them with the disc and the case, but I don't play Xbox. I don't like Xbox. I didn't grow up with Xbox. Xbox pisses me off because the controller is opposite from the PlayStation and it bothers me so much. So I don't play Xbox. That is my husband's domain. Titanfall. Mortal Kombat. Star Wars, Star Wars Battlefront. Rocksmith. My husband got this for me because I wanted to learn how to play guitar, but I just have more of a passion for singing. The reason I can't play guitar is because I just don't have a passion to learn. Friday the 13th, the game. This game is trash. It is absolutely trash. Obviously, you want to find the campers and kill them like, you know, Freddy does in the movie. But Freddy runs so slow compared to all of the campers that this game is trash. It is absolute trash. Extinction. Watchdogs. Dark Souls 2. Gears of War 3. See? That was up for Xbox. Ta-da! Now, our last one, guys. We're almost done! Nintendo Switch. This is my least favorite because this is a game that Ray got for himself. It's not really one that I would play. So this is Jump Force Deluxe Edition. Then, I love Pokemon. And I know this is going to sound crazy to you guys because I know Pokemon's been out for a while. The only Pokemon game I had ever played was Pokemon Stadium on the 64. And my first time actually getting into Pokemon was last year. My husband and his brother and his brother's wife got me to play Pokemon Go, and I've been obsessed with Pokemon ever since. So because of that, um, I got Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I don't like it at all. Um, I kind of wish that you had more freedom. I don't like that, I mean, you save one Pokemon, then you go to bed, and then you do it again. It reminds me of Wonder Pet. Now, Lenny, now. This is serious! So I feel like this is like a kid Pokemon game. Super Mario's Bro Deluxe. Um, I like this game. I don't love it. And by myself, I get bored. Super Mario 3D World. Now I'm not gonna lie, uh, the only reason I got this is because of Bowser's Fury. I haven't made it that far yet. That just looks so cool. So, um, once I play that, I'll definitely give an update if, like, if it's awesome or not. Mario Kart Deluxe 8. I love the graphics on this. I don't like how easy they made Mario Kart though. Like they made it to where you can't die, which I feel like is what kind of made it funny, but I do like the graphics. So that's why it's high on the list. Pokemon Eevee. I love this game. I like the graphics. I enjoy catching Pokemon. I'm obsessed with Pokemon in general now. So. Pokemon Diamond. This probably would be higher on the list, like if I had played this when I was a kid, because I know a lot of people were excited because they used to play this on the DS, but I never have. So my second favorite game, Luigi's Mansion. Oh my gosh. 
I love this game. I love his reactions to the ghosts. I love how cool the ghosts are. I love the graphics. This game is amazing. This is definitely, it was very, very hard for me to choose between this and the game that I considered to be my number one because I love this game. My number one game, I have to say, is gonna be Pokemon Sword. And the reason is, this was the first actual Poke Pokemon Stadium, a real Pokemon game, because you don't actually catch Pokemon, you just fight. But this was the first game I have ever played where I actually had to go into the grass and catch Pokemon and battle trainers and try to beat the gym leaders. And so this is my favorite game ever right now for Pokemon. Well, in general for the Switch. But yeah, so that is it for our game collection. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments like which games you like or which game system you like the best. Let me know if there's any games that you think we, that any games we don't have that you think we should get because I'm definitely very interested in hearing your opinions and thoughts on that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!